I think men are always like, how the hell did you have that in there? And I'm like, don't worry about it. Hello Vogue, it's Emrata, Emily Ratajkowski, and I'm gonna show you what's in my bag. I don't normally do this, but I brought this on the Vogue Spain cover shoot. My bangs got trimmed and I'm really into them, but I found that they do need a little love. So I just left this in my bag and you know, it does make me feel like I could like be ready for anything. Item that I can't live without. It's either Aquaphor or CeraVe that does also like many, many things. It's skincare, it's, you know, a glossy lip. Yeah, I'll put this like under my eyes on a plane or before I go to bed. Sometimes it's used on my son's butt. <laughs> I kind of travel a little heavy with like makeup and beauty stuff because I do my own makeup for the podcast and I'm touching up on set and whatever. So this also acts as my on-set makeup bag. Kind of turned into a rare beauty girl. Really love the cheek tint, but just got this new lip and I really like it. It's a good color. Okay, I always have a lipstick. This one does not have a top, do not judge me. I always have a lipstick that I can use both for my lips and for my cheeks. I like like a sunburned blush look and I put this like on the top of my nose and right here. I probably look crazy right now and like I have a sunburn, but actually I never let my face in the sun. So that's my little secret. Oh, this is really, really key because it works in many, many ways. It basically, it takes care of my whole face. I do corner of my eyes with a little bit of the brown pencil for like an eyeliner moment. I fill in my freckles and my mole. And then I also use this as a lip liner that I then kind of buff out with the Aquaphor. Little compact mirror that has gum on it because I'm disgusting. Charlotte Tilbury highlighter. It's kind of a must have. Charlotte Tilbury, I've been a fan for forever. She did my makeup on a British GQ cover, I wanna say like 2014, like a really long time ago. I do have a little memento. This is something that usually I have on my neck, but a lot of the time on set, I have to take it off because if I'm shooting. I got myself this necklace, it's my son's name. When I was pregnant, I like, custom had it ordered. It was my push present, I guess is what people say, but for myself. And it is sort of my lucky charm. I feel really naked if I don't travel with it or don't kind of have it on. So I used to be really obsessive about wearing his initials or his name. And then my two best friends and I got tattoos of his name. So now my superstitious whatever stuff is a little bit chiller. That being said, I still really like to have this necklace with me. My son leaves toys in various places around the house, but this one he just left in my bag for me. He's really into dogs. We had a dog themed second birthday and this little toy dog figurine is somehow in my bag, so. This is a book that I always recommend to people. It has not gotten the shine it deserves. Lacey M. Johnson is an incredible, incredible writer, especially if you are somebody who kind of like isn't great with novels, whatever. I always recommend essays, books of essays or short stories because you can, you know, put them down and pick them back up in a really nice way. So definitely one of my favorite books. This book came out a while ago. This is also another book of essays, Rachel Aviv. I just started it. One of my very good friends recommended it and I think it's so smart and so brilliant and I recommend everyone read it. It was a New York Times bestseller. It just feels really culturally relevant and super interesting. This is my ticket for Sony where I record the podcast. Just covered in concealer and this is from yesterday. I'm definitely a music person. I wake up in the morning with my son pretty early. I, first thing I do is I put on music. In general, I just really like to kind of have music when I'm commuting, going to set or to record the podcast or to a meeting. So I always have headphones. Favorite playlist just recently has been a new one Spotify created for me. My best friend and I have pretty similar taste in music. We both grew up with parents who were like children of the 60s, like true boomers. So that's kind of like, we know every Beatles song, but then we love Omar Apollo and Bad Bunny and Rosalia. So they put this playlist together and it's like Babs and Emily's playlist. And it's 
incredible. It covers all the bases and it just like jumps around in a really cool way. So that has been this week's playlist. My bag is the heaviest when I've had like a really kind of work slash mom day because that means that I have all the stuff that I bring around with me for work and then also diapers, water bottle, toys, wipes, like all the mom stuff. So that's definitely when my bag is the heaviest, snacks. Thanks for watching my video and checking out what's in my bag and I'll see you soon. Thanks, folks.